Welcome to our third lesson, Embedding Artwork into Our Files, brought to you by PrintWand. Last time, we took a look at what was involved in converting our fonts to outlines. But this lesson is about learning how to embed our artwork into InDesign. The goal here is so that between the combination of converting our fonts to outlines and embedding our artwork, we're only having to hand off one file to whoever's dealing with our document. That way we don't have to give them multiple files, such as images and fonts, along with our InDesign document. So here we have our InDesign file open, and we first want to go to our Links panel. And this is found by heading up to our menu bar, going over to Window, and then heading down to Links. Let's make sure to expand this dialog box so that we can see all of our artwork. And so here we can see all of the various pieces of artwork that are in our document. Let's go ahead and select the first piece of artwork. Now if we notice this button in the upper right hand corner of the Links box, let's go ahead and select that. And then now we can move down to where it says Embed Link, and we want to select that. So if we go back over here and look at our Links panel, we'll notice that this symbol in the right of the layer that we've embedded, this is what tells us that the image has been embedded into our document. And if you also notice, this layer has been embedded, embedded while all of the other layers have not. So this is telling us now that this piece of artwork is part of our file instead of being a separate element. Okay, so that's basically how you embed images into your InDesign file. And you can do this one by one, or you can select a whole group and embed everything all at once. But that's what gives you an embedded image in InDesign. So this concludes our lesson. Up next, we're going to discuss using document templates in our InDesign files. Make sure to check back often to PrintWand for more video lessons, as well as other articles to help you with your marketing and promotional needs.